From the depth of the sea, the ground that we walk on, to the air that we breathe. Microbes are everywhere. And extracting RNA is our challenge. Today, we are working on yet another challenging sample, soil. This is the RNAZ Power Maxor Pro Kit. The kit uses advanced inhibitor removal technology to help you extract high yield and high purity RNA. Make sure to store solution CD2, DNA1, and RDD buffer in the fridge. Before we start the extraction, use a syringe to add RNA's free water to the lyophilized powder. Now, gently mix and do not vortex as DNA1 is sensitive to shearing. Add it quartz in small portions and store in the freezer. Do not use beyond three freeze thaw cycles as DNAs one already degraded at this point. Take the amount of DNAs one needed for the number of reactions that you want to process and combine with RDD buffer. Let's begin with the extraction. You can use any input from five grams to 15 grams of soil. Add solution CD1, solution CD2, phenol chloroform, and gently vortex. Solution CD1 disperses your soil, Solution CD2 eliminates the contaminants, and PCI protects your RNA from degradation. Now it's time to lyse your sample. I'm sure you've met the tissue lyser 3 before. So now secure the PowerMax Speed Pro tube onto the 50 ml adapter, place the adapter onto the instrument, and repeat the same with the left adapter. And you can run your protocol. And now, centrifuge your sample, transfer the supernatant into a new 50 ml tube, add solution CD2, vortex briefly for five seconds, and centrifuge again. Solution CD2 removes contaminants that interfere with downstream PCR analysis. After the centrifugation, decant the supernatant, add solution EA, and vortex briefly for five seconds. Solution EA contains chemical components that would optimize the binding of RNA onto the silica membrane of the MB spin column. Transfer 15 ml of the binding solution onto the MB spin column, centrifuge the tube, discard the flow through, and repeat for the remaining binding solution. After centrifugation, wash the membrane with solution EA and centrifuge another time. Place the MB Maxi Spin column onto a new 50 ml collection tube and add DNAs1 solution. Incubate at room temperature for 15 minutes, then add solution EA and centrifuge for 2 minutes. The DNAs digest the DNA in your sample, while solution EA inactivates the DNAs enzyme and removes it together with the digested DNA. After you discarded the flow through, add solution C5 and centrifuge. Repeat the washing step using 80% of alcohol. Centrifuge again and transfer the MB spin column onto a new collection tube. Centrifuge for three minutes and this centrifugation step is crucial as alcohol interferes with RNA downstream applications. Place the MB spin column onto a new collection tube. Put RNA's free water at the center of the membrane and incubate at room temperature. Then, centrifuge for one last time. Now, transfer your eluate into a 1.5 low bind tube for easier storage. And that's it! Your RNA is ready for downstream application, such as RT-PCR or gel electrophoresis. If not used immediately, store your RNA in the freezer to prevent degradation. If you're interested in soil DNA, follow this link and join us for our next challenging sample. Kyogen. Sample to insight.